Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Last time we set this system up here mainly for steel production because we need uh, 800 kilograms of steel uh, to have um, a steam turbine up there. So we can place that in. We will place it there. And then actually we can have the filter on the other side. We need a bit more wiring. Um, have the filter there. Bring this in. And we need um, hydrogen in there. So let's set this up. And uh, once this thing up here is built and we have a big vacuum we can uh, close this off so up here we want to have hydrogen and then down here um, we will need a bit of, uh, of water on the floor and we will also place a bit of, uh, of ice that will eventually melt However, the focus today is down here, where we have uh, a salt, uh, salt water geyser, and here we have not that much water. Here, what happened there? Anyway, here we have not too much water, here we are lacking water and this can be a bit of an issue if we want to have a sustainable uh, colony. So we planned uh, almost everything out, it still needs to be uh, built. And then I think here on this side we will dig out a bit more so we can have the desalination plant and bring the water up. So uh, that's a bit more work for our duplicants to do and uh, we will wait for them to do that. As you can see, they made good progress up here. Uh, the steam turbine is already in place. We need a bit more cleanup. Uh, we also need um, to store a bit of ice in here. And how much do we need? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times two hundred is this much, I think. Uh, let's try and get that in and here we will need a bit of um, water.
does not freeze immediately. Um, at least the tiles here are positive. So, looking good. Then down here, they made also progress up to here. No, maybe we have to just make this a bit more important. We can also queue the analysis there. Uh, this research is not yet done, but we are getting there. Nice. And I think we can remove this and we can remove that. And here we have the cooling loop. Maybe eventually we will need something uh, uh, different. Um, can also deconstruct the high pressure vent there. Okay. Here um, I have to be a bit uh, uh, careful to not uh, put in too much water. I only need a tiny bit. Uh, but yeah, they still have their work cut out, so um, let's wait for a while more. We have a bit of a problem here because we need a bit of water, but we are actually lacking water uh, and uh, the amount that we get in are not sufficient. Uh, they're just sufficient for our farms. So now that uh, we are done down here, uh, I think we can actually uh, plan the uh, desalination. I hope I have researched that. No, have not. So let's do that instead. And we will place that down here, bring the, the pipe up here, and then from here we can connect to this line. Right? So we need another line there, connect it like this. Then let's pull this down on this side. Then here, yeah, this pipe is still empty. So I am thinking if we need to fill something in there. Um, and we can take this. And that should solve that problem. Here we are liking a bit more uh, ice. We have it down here so we only need to grab it and, and put it in there. Then I think we are almost, we're almost there. 
of course she also need water for the supercomputer um, otherwise it will not really work out that well can also go in here mop up that water it probably will help a bit just so that we can finish the research and uh, and um, and get that done maybe lower the priority here for now um, okay it turned into ice. We will we will see about that. I think. Yeah. So uh, let's wait for that research to be uh, to be completed. hopefully see our water problems resolved now the research is done and I had to activate this one again because otherwise we had just not enough water but now uh, we can Build the desalinator down here, hook it up with the pipe, output there, and this one probably also wants a bit of the power, yes. And that should bring us all the water that we need, then up here we also have uh, this loop now filled and uh, now we just have to figure out how to get water in here actual water uh, instead of uh, water that turns into ice um, i replaced or removed the the lower leather here maybe that caused a bit of uh, of an issue yep that should be good um we'll deconstruct this one then put in the ball there Then we can also put wall in here. And we should see, yeah, the temperature of this ice is heating up. I'm just hoping that uh, the water is not cooling so much that we get uh, ice before this one can can melt but we will see up here we also have to do a bit more pipe work so we can uh, uh, put in the uh, hydrogen once we have closed that off which is actually now so we can do this and then that's done and here we probably want a bit more priority on that 
So we should get our precious, precious water there. I mean, we could always um, add more water in here because the petroleum sits below the, the water and we just have to fill this tile in here. Um, that see what we have in here uh, let's take the sandstone and we're almost there down there and I think we need a bit more more steel Because with this setup, we can see uh, now we can not cool anymore. What we can try to do, but that's just a, a temporary uh, measure, is add a bit of liquid in here to cool down the the molten gold. Um, liquid will then turn into gas and um, that could potentially break this one so we have uh, over on this side probably some more metal volcanoes that we can set up and uh, i think this time we want to set it up properly so the ice is below minus four degree uh, and the water is at 25 so that works and once we have that tile in we can also put in this tile there Um, what seems to be the problem here? Hmm. Uh, the water is too cold, um, which is a bit of an issue. Because, of course, going through here, um, we cannot heat it up. And, yeah, we will just wait and, and have to see because I think water here is a warmer it's just yeah if we have a look there it, it gets warmer it's just the, the the water here at the front that's that's too cold so we'll just live with it um, Maybe no more uh, uh, liquefiable things in there as it melts. Okay, then tile there, and we are complete. And the water has 
or the ice has melted. Actually, I would not mind a bit more because here we have a bit over 100 kilograms and I would like to have 200 kilograms. So maybe let's let's put a bit more ice in there. As you can see, we completed the setup up here. We have a bit more than 250 kilograms of water on the floor, sitting at around 30 degrees. So it can eat quite a bit more up before uh, we get uh, steam in there. Uh, also removed the setup here on this side and down here uh, we finally have this thing working. Um, so yeah, get more water in there as well. Um, so I think um, next time we will see um, how we uh, we get along with. Uh, Hooking up another metal volcano, uh, maybe in a manner that is uh, more appropriate uh, and uh, uh, for our long term usage. But we will see how that turns out in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.